What's up guys, welcome back to LSJ TV for my 100th video. What we're gonna do is kick off today's video with a chest workout, but before we do, I've got a fair few subscribers since the new year, so I just wanted to quickly explain my upload schedule to you guys, for those who might not know. I upload every Wednesday and every Sunday, 8.30 UK, 8.30 AM, sorry, UK time. I just wanted to quickly explain that before I jump into this chest workout, so let's go. What's up guys, welcome back to LSJ TV for another commentary and what better way to celebrate my 100th video by a chest workout commentary. It's crazy to think how far we've come, we're at 220 subscribers at the time of recording this guys. On my 100th video we had 220 subscribers. So I'm unbelievably excited to see how many subscribers I have when I've done 150 videos, 200 videos, 500 videos. This is just the beginning guys and I cannot wait to see the journey ahead of us guys. So thanks a lot for sticking with me and let's get into this workout. So the first exercise that you guys have just seen is the flat barbell bench press and actually I wish I recorded the second and the third set because it went up a lot easier than this one did. This was then followed because I was actually I was running out of time a bit, the gym was going to close fairly soon and so I actually just wanted to get back and so in order to do that I just saved myself a little bit of time and superseted the lat pull down as you can see here with the incline barbell press. So what I did here was just make sure I lighten the weight a little bit just because it was super setting so I could keep my form down pat on both exercises and as you can see here I'll just speed it up for you guys a little bit I switched over straight away to the incline barbell press and what I want to draw your attention to here guys is the way I re-racked it I was far back enough so I didn't put the strain on my shoulders when I lifted it off as well as that I kept an arch in my lower back I actually slid down in this clip that it was kind of accidental but it worked quite well because it actually meant that I could pin my shoulder blades back and actually properly keep that scapula retracted which is key to good form on the bench press so I just used normal form, just lowering it down, pausing at the bottom for two seconds, and then exploding up to the top again. So the next exercise, as you guys can see here, is a single arm cable row, and I did that using the machine pulley. I love, love, love using the machine because I feel the constant tension just helps me get a great pump and helps me get that proper mind-to-muscle connection when isolating the back using this exercise. Give it a try, guys. So the next exercise you guys can see here is pectoral flies. I would usually do this on the cable pulleys, but actually both sides weren't free and a group of lads were waiting for the cable that I had, and so I had to switch over. And honestly, I don't know whether it was just my body, but I did not like this machine at all. I felt I used far too much shoulder. There was a lot, if you look back on the clip, there was a lot of rounding in my shoulder and I felt like I was driving into it rather than focusing on that chest contraction. So from a physiological standpoint, this machine is a no-go from me, but I've seen plenty of people use it and plenty of people get progress from it in the past, so don't be put off just by the fact that uh, I have short arms and this machine doesn't really work for me. But anyway, what you saw there was rear delt flies coming halfway across the chest, really focusing, keeping the tension in the rear delt. Instead of pulling, using your bicep, using that forearm, stay nice and still. I like to put my hand across my chest and then really keep the tension, keep the focus on the isolation on the rear delt. So this is the last exercise I actually managed to get recorded, the tricep extensions. You guys know the form by now, if you don't then check out some of my older videos, but I'll explain now why this is the last clip I actually managed to record. Right guys, so that workout, um, the footage anyway, came to an abrupt end, so uh, apologies for that, but actually the first time ever I got told to stop recording in the gym, I don't know why because I wasn't doing anything bad, if anything it was only just good promotion for the gym So, um, and I always ask people in the background, you know like is, is that camera alright there like, and they just either say yes or no, I mean they can say no and I've moved it, it's happened before um, and I just, just in general try and make sure there's no one in the background of it and if they are then I ask them. So um, I don't really know why that happened, I've been doing it for months, people have seen me, the people who own the gym have even seen me, walked past me, made no comment. So uh, I don't know whether the guy just had a bad day or not and told me to, to stop recording. I'll, uh, I'll just Maybe I'll just ask next time. I don't know. So um, anyway, it was a good workout. We finished off with some bicep curls, which was the only thing that I didn't get to record. So luckily I got the majority of the workout. We've come home now, just making a spaghetti bolognese. Uh, we're going to have about 100 grams of pasta, um, fresh pasta, so slightly lower calorie. Um, just put some peppers in there, some low-fat tomato sauce. Nice and easy. Anyway, yeah, just wanted to let you know, guys, that you know, I didn't skip any exercises, I did just get told to stop recording. But it is what it is, uh, we'll move on to the next one. Right guys, so here's the finished product. I'm gonna top that with some 50% less fat cheese. Uh, that's just from Sainsbury's, but you can get it from pretty much anywhere. Uh, so I'm gonna enjoy this, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay guys, so it is the next day, what well, the next night actually, and I just wanted to conclude this video by saying that the next video you see will probably be a review, and you can probably expect a couple over the next couple of weeks, just because it's been Christmas, and obviously from family and friends and stuff like that, I got a couple of gifts, some new Gymshark, new Alphalete, so I just wanted to 
have a chance to wear those items of clothing and actually give a proper review rather than doing an out of the box review like I normally do. So um, that's why it's not been so quick. I've been wearing my performance t-shirts and I've got some Alphalete on now as you can see. Um, so you can expect those videos over the next couple of weeks. Um, and with that said, that is going to round off my rather short um, 100th video guys. I can't really believe how quickly it's kind of gone. I've managed to do 100 videos, two videos a week already. And this is just the beginning guys. So um, stay tuned if you're new, subscribe, like, comment and share as always guys. And remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.